Hello there, my friends. So let's do a character creation with fast character. And we're going to do a GIF today because we're going to be playing Spelljammer. And I'm going to call this character Poe because he's a hippo. And like Poe Dameron from Star Wars sequels. All right, so we're going to make him a GIF. Right there, and SI, this is Spelljammer. S I A I S stands for Spelljammer class. See, this is the problem. So I'm not sure. Well, we know he's going to be level one. His alignment is definitely going to be random but not evil because we're playing Adventure League and there are no evil characters in Adventure League. Now, the class, that's the interesting part. So I'm thinking uh, Armor Artificer is possible. And we're going to do Match to Fit Class. And then here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I want Float. I think what I want to do is pick uh, I really want Strength, Dex, and Con. That's really what I want. But if I use this, it's going to put the, it's got a min-max in the best categories. So I guess I'll do that. Let's do that. And then go to create character. Oh wait, background, match to fit class. Okay. All right, good. Let's do it. So click character. Okay, so dex, con, and intelligence because he's an artificer probably. All right, so let's print this one out. Print. All right, we'll print that out. And let's see what we got here. We got alignment, good, okay. Feature military rank, traits, outcast, former knight, sloppy habits, dwarven tactics are best, reputation are as fearless, and sees mercy as weakness. Oh my, what a character. All right, so let's go back and we'll keep the gif, but this time we'll make him a barbarian. But what kind of barbarian do we want? How about we do a, just a straight berserker. Oh, what's this Path of the Beast thing? Wild magic. Hmm. Let's try wild magic. Click. So he's going to be, yes, Dex, Strength, and Con. Very nice. Barbarian. Okay, so this is good because we want to use, I want to use pole arms and I want to use uh, firearms if possible. So that'll be cool. So let's print this one off. All right. And these are all level one characters, but nice armor class and good hit points for level one all right all right so let's go back and make a rogue <laughs> because wouldn't it be funny to have a hippo who can sneak up on people and do sneak attack so let's do a rogue uh, assassin inquisitive mastermind no scout soul knife swashbuckler a rogue swashbuckler gif boy would that be strange let's let's see what we get here okay so not a lot of strength he's gonna have charisma though so i don't know about that let's print this off here but then let's go back and pick a rogue assassin and see what that does print oh that's not what i want let's go back we go oh I've, i lost it all right so fast character 
Let's do this again real quick. It's really easy. So you, you can see that this is just a fantastic way to do this. So race, we're going to go GIF uh, class. We're going to go uh, rogue, rogue, assassin. We're going to go with the name uh, Poe. You know what? We're gonna let this. Uh, we'll let it generate names, and then level one alignment, anything but evil, and then background match to fit class, and uh, assassin, right? And then we're gonna pick our scores. We're gonna min max, and we hit create character. And what I mean by min max is that print. Okay, is that uh, you get the highest possible scores in three categories and the lowest possible scores in three categories, which I always personally find interesting. All right, so one more time, but for whatever reason, I liked the idea of the Phantom. So let's see what the difference between the Phantom Rogue is and the Assassin, because I think the Phantom is going to be more stealthy. He's intelligent, though. I was kind of wanted to play a dumb uh, one, but I can always put the int 16 in strength or con. So let's see the class feature, sneak attack, thieves can't, expertise. See, I, it doesn't matter until we get to the next level, I believe. So this also could work. We'll print this. But I think the barbarian is going to be the most fun. So I could play a sneaky guy or I can play the guy who just runs into people. And I think the gift trait, one of the traits is that hippo built. So uh, no, not hippo built. Um, the one where you can run into people. Uh, there's a special trait where if you like just smash into people, you get a bonus because of your size. Hippo built must be. Yes, it, advantage on strength checks. So if you are strong, you can uh, run into a character and knock them prone. So I think I might uh, do that. So I'm thinking the bar barbarian might be the way to go. All right, well, this is how you use fast character to create a GIF, a hippo character that's uh, in D&D 5e for Adventure League level one. If you have any questions about this, let me know and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks all 13,405 of you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are the best. Appreciate you. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.